What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Triple R Farms and my name is Daniel and it's another cold one here in Alabama but it is uh, Wednesday, January the 10th and uh, here's what we got on tap for today. We're going to be working around the shop uh, because yesterday or the night before we got uh, five inches of rain. We had some really bad weather come through. Uh, luckily we didn't have any damage except for the just sheer amount of water five and a half inches of rain that came uh just washing out some roads and washing out some uh, culverts and stuff but had a lot of wind with it uh, a lot of tornadoes in florida and stuff but luckily we have no damage except like i said just from the water um i did get some video of that uh yesterday when i was riding around so we'll roll that footage right now and uh then we'll tell y'all what we're doing today after that down here where the river screen is where we do all our pumping i will check on it but this water right here is going to get higher and higher real quick so if you look at the water way out there on the other side of the railroad track that is the actual alabama river right there and this is just a big creek that comes in and feeds it and uh over time after a couple of hours this water is going to go up 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 pretty quick because you have all these streams and creeks feeding into the alabama river that water level is going to go up as you can see it's getting all over our pipes right here uh, where we pump out of that is why we have to pull the river screen out because this water level fluctuates a lot it gets all the way over this uh this hill right here it'll have all that underwater I don't know if it'll have it underwater after this rain, but we've had it way over that hill right there before. If you wanna see something pretty cool, check out this. I don't know where they came from, but that all right there, that blob of stuff that's moving that is ants and they're all piled on top of each other trying to survive in this water Get all the corn stalks. My water actually came over the road right here. Goodness. Yep, right here.
those aren't small culverts those are giant diesel tanks that we cut the ends off of three of them a lot of water coming through here Now this culvert up here, we just did some work on it uh, last summer. It's a lot, of, a lot of water comes through here like really fast. It's usually when it's coming, it's fast flowing. So hopefully we don't have a blowout right here. We'll go check it out. Definitely the water across the road right here a lot. Oh, it looks like the road is blown out on the other side. Oh boy. So here's the pipe right here. It's going around the pipe and going underground. Holy cow, this could cave in right here. Take a look at this one. This one looks all right. Got to go somewhere. So today, like I said, with the amount of water, everything's wet, no field work. So we're gonna be working around the shop, doing some stuff, working on equipment. Uh, I got some filters I need to put in the row gator. Um, got some oil changes on some tractors and stuff. So it's gonna be another uh, working around the shop, getting equipment ready for the 2024 season. So uh, let's get this uh, video started. Got my blue marker so this is what we do on our farm now everybody's farm is different everybody has different practices that they do on their farm but this is the way we do it on ours every year in january number one uh, because filters always go on sale in january but we always change all the hydraulic filters on all our equipment all our tractors all our combines our loaders everything we change all the hydraulic filters brand new in january and we also do all the air filters every filter on the machine on all our machines will be brand new air and hydraulic that way we know we start off the year with brand new filters now of course we'll change all on our equipment throughout the year and of course we'll blow out our air filters um, throughout the year too but we'll always start off in january with brand new hydraulic and air so that's what we're doing we what we did all the tractors the other day i just didn't get it on film uh last thing i do i got to do the combines and i got my rogator to do 
and then everything should be done. But that's what I'm doing to the Rogator now. We're putting in new air and hydraulic. Let me know in the comments what you do on your farm. Here's your cab filter. Two thousand and twenty four. Really expensive. Y'all didn't remind me to write 24 on it. All right, this is what Wayne's been working on. He's been taping off my grill. Whenever I always do the drone footage, everybody always complains that my grill is rusty and I need to paint it black. So that's what we're doing. Heating up my paint. I got a little too hot. Well, it looks like we're out of paint, even though it feels like there's some left in there. Nothing's coming out, though. This is the only can Dad bought, so we'll have to go back to town at lunch, get another can, finish that screen on the top, because also I wanted to uh, spray the inside of the uh, radiator screen, too. That looks a little dry on the fifth wheel, but luckily I have got some fifth wheel spray from Schaefer's. At least I think I do. There it is. Look at there. Fifth wheel. Got Vantage South here working on the 8285. Got a problem with the uh, satellite on it. I'll tell you about it in just a second. So what I'm doing to this 8320, we changed all the filters on it the other day and we went to put the uh, engine air, the primary engine air filter in and it was not the right filter. So we stuck the old one back in just to pull the tractor out of the shop. So now we're going to put the new one back in there. I didn't put the cap on wrong. I set it down. Should have been like that.
Well, the Case 380 is going home today. Hate to see her go. But uh, they're here to pick it up. They already picked up the plow that we demoed. And this is a tractor. If you didn't watch the videos, they brought it down and we demoed this 380. And it was a really, really nice tractor. And we appreciate H&R for doing that for us. But uh, she's time to go back home. Pick it up right there. Let's see if you got enough off to you. <laughs> <laughs> this oil seal holds this rear end oil mm -hmm. from leaking out. So you got to take the wheels off. Take the wheels off. Jack it, jack it up. Take the wheels off. Take the brake drum off. Pull the axle out. And put a new seal in. Put the axle back in. Put everything back together. So here's what's been going on with the 8285. She's been giving us satellite trouble. So Mark was running it last week and one morning the satellite did not pull up at all. He was not recognizing this receiver right here. So I went and grabbed one off another tractor, put it on this one, turned it back on. She went to working. So he ran a couple days and then it started giving us trouble again. So then we went to uh, thinking that the wiring harness is the issue. So we had Vantage South come out today. They installed a brand new wiring harness and fired up the satellite and she is working perfect. So we think that was the issue all along. We got the old receiver back on the tractor, put the other receiver back on the right tractor and now we're back good to go. So we'll run it next week whenever it dries up and hopefully she won't give us any more trouble. Time for a car wash. On that.
That's not working. That's not working. some water on it, see what it is. See if I did any good. Don't squirt me, Wayne. Hold up here. Hold up Don't hit me. <laughs> yeah, it's coming right off. that is detail. Wayne got in between these little things. Watch this. Look at that. Wayne's gonna have to open up a detail shop. Be good at this. What are you doing? This is not high tech. <laughs> if you if you use part of a can and you got some left and you want to reuse it, turn it upside down. Don't shake it. Spray it till it quits sending paint. There. Now, when you're ready to reuse it again, it won't be stopped up. He asked me if I did that, and I didn't know what in the world he's talking about. I had never heard of that, but um, now I know. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. We are out of time. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching another one with us. Stay tuned on the next video that comes out because we're gonna be working on our planners. We got Wayne and Mark in there cleaning out the shop. We're gonna be pulling the planners in there tomorrow and uh, start going through them and replacing what we need to replace. Uh, so that will be on the next video. But as for this one, we're done. Thanks for watching. If you want to do me a favor, click that thumb. means you like the video. If you want to subscribe, click Triple R Farms logo. Other than that, guys, we're out. See you on the next one.